Today, if the Supreme Court rules a basic law as unconstitutional, then the Israeli Knesset has to either fix the law or create an entirely new one. Well, now Education Minister Naftali Bennett and Justice Minister Ayelet Shaked want to change this, and they've just revealed a draft bill that would give the Knesset the power to overcome high court rulings with a simple majority vote of 61 Knesset members. Now joining us in the studio with more is Simcha Rothman, a legal advisor for the Israel Movement for Governability and Democracy. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, so my first question is, you know, why is this on the floor now? They, what prompted the drafting of this amendment? I think in the, it's, we saw a lot in the last year, but I think for the last 20 years, right. the Supreme Court of Israel um, that does not know the word judicial restraint, cancel Knesset laws, interferes in, in security issues, in all kinds. So the Supreme Court basically is out of control. And the Knesset members from all parties see that and try to bring on solutions. And I think this is one uh, try. By the, 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 it's, good, it's good that this, uh, uh, that the Justice Minister and, and Naftali Bennett, the, the Education Minister, trying to fix the situation. So, okay, when you say that the Supreme Court is out of control, can you give me an example or two? Just because I, I feel like that's a, a statement that can be construed as a... a, a as an opinion, you know, so... Yeah, of course it's an opinion, but if you, if you take into account that um, the Supreme Court cancelled Knesset, uh, Knesset laws about the illegal infiltrators three times in a row, meaning the Knesset three times in a row thought that the, the, the problem with the illegal infiltrators sitting in, 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 in uh, South Tel Aviv and in other places in Israel, mm -hmm. it's a problem that needs to be addressed in a certain way, and the court time and again canceled the Knesset law saying it's unconstitutional based on very little in the law. It's, there is no law or, or basic law giving the court any authority to do so, but the court did so anyway, three All times right. in a row. All right, so now, if, is this actually going to pass in your opinion? And, and what would need to happen for that to pass, for this new draft to pass? I think this new draft, I think the chances that it will pass definitely in, in the current uh, in the current wording of the of the draft, I think are low. I don't think it, uh -huh. it will pass. I think that the opposition from inside and from the outside to this um, will take it down. From the Likud, you can hear already um, um, Minister Yariv Levin saying it's it's not a good idea. It's it's bad uh, mm -hmm. draft, and also uh, Kulanu in the coalition from the coalition. And of course, when you go to the opposition, everyone objects. So, what to needs it. to be done to make it passable? Maybe you know up the minimum for the for the majority vote or something. Or, you know what what needs to happen? I think. I think that to, in order to make the, I, th I don't think it's a good idea that this draft will pass. I think this mm. is not the right solution to the problems that we are facing. Right. But I think that to get to the to agreement on what is the the right solution, I think that all the coalition parties needs to think about it together. Mm. But but I don't think this solution that the Knesset can overcome a ruling in a special majority. Um, um, and it's only for right. a limited time, I don't think it's solved the problem. The real problem, most of the problems we faced in the last year of over, over active uh, court, activist right. court, will not be solved by this kind of legislation. All right, well, thank you very much uh, for coming in and shedding some light on that. Simcha Thank you.